Like and subscribe right now or this spider will crawl in your face when you are sleeping. Did you know that we're going through one of the biggest extinction waves since the dinosaurs checked out 65 million years ago? Every day, up to 200 species are becoming extinct, and those include all kinds of incredible, cute, and a whole bunch of low-key animals that are on the brink of extinction. Let's check them out. Pygmy Marmoset Let's start off with the amazing Pygmy Marmoset. These tiny monkeys are so cute, they make your heart melt. But here's the thing, they're in trouble like endangered species kind of trouble. There's only about 2,000 left in the wild, which is basically like finding a needle in a haystack. They are only found in the Amazon rainforest. And you know what's even crazier? They're the smallest primates in the world. Like imagine being so tiny that you can fit in someone's pocket. That's how small these guys are. Due to deforestation, mining, and oil palm cultivation, the pygmy marmoset's habitat has decreased in size. The Pinta Island Tortoise Starting off, meet the Pinta Island Tortoise, also known as Lonesome George. This amazing creature was seemingly the last of his kind, a subspecies of giant tortoises in the Galapagos. When he died, so did the species or so we thought. Galapagos tortoises were frequently kept on ships for food, but sometimes dumped off when no longer needed. An expedition there in 2007 revealed eight young tortoises that might be first-generation hybrids of Penta Island tortoises amongst the 2,000 living there. About 17 hybrids of the Penta Island tortoise have been found. Hopefully, more expeditions will reveal the parents of those hybrid reptiles, too. But this is all we have left of them for now. Bald Ibis If you're looking for a bird that looks like it's wearing a plague doctor mask, then the northern bald ibis is your guy. This weird-looking bird has a bald skull-like head, jet black spiky feathers around its neck, and a long thin beak. And get this. It's been around for over 60 million years. That's like forever in bird years. The ancient Egyptians were fascinated by them, possibly because they look like they came from the underworld. Sadly, there are fewer than 1,000 of them left in the wild because of climate change and pesticide use. Can we save them? Tarsiers. Did you know Tarsiers can do the head spin like in The Exorcist? Not only that, but they can jump backward from tree to tree like a ninja. Unfortunately, these cool creatures are in danger because of illegal logging, mining, and being sold as pets on the black market. There are only a few thousand Tarsers left in the Philippines. But hey, you may want to keep your distance because imagine one of these creepy critters leaping at you with its freaky fingers and sharp teeth. Yikes! Cacapus. Meet the owl cat of the bird world, the kakapo. These fluffy parrots are the heaviest in the world, weighing up to nine pounds. They're native to New Zealand, but their population plummeted after colonizers introduced new predators and hunted them. By the 1990s, only 51 were left in the wild, but conservation efforts have brought the number up to over 200. Kakapos are friendly and gentle birds that can't fly using their wings only for balance and gliding. They may seem like the perfect pet, but they can live up to 90 years, so they're better off in the wild. The Pika. Did you know that Pikachu from Pokemon is based on a real animal called the Pika? They're cute little mammals that live in the Tainshuan mountain range in China. Despite their small size, Pika can summon a group of over 100 of their friends when threatened by using telepathy. Unfortunately, there are only around 1,000 left, and they're under threat from climate change, human disturbance, and livestock grazing. Global warming is the biggest danger to their survival as it causes vegetation changes in their habitat. Let's hope we can protect these little cuties. Brazilian Spix's macaw. These colorful birds are still alive today, but only in captivity. There have been some reports of sightings of them in the wild, 
but they're very few and sometimes the wrong species. They are declining due to the loss of their home, the carib tree. There have been attempts in the past to set up nature preserves near their original nesting sites, but it can't happen fast enough. Meanwhile, around 100 of them exist in zoos and other preserves. There may be a few more kept as pets. Any attempt to breed them fails because many of these birds are closely related and inbreeding leads to unviable offspring. White Rhino Historically, the primary factor for the decline of this subspecies has been uncontrolled hunting in the colonial area, but the threat continues. The white rhino horn is highly prized in traditional Asian medicine. It is ground into a fine powder and made into tablets to treat strokes and fevers. What's worse is that they can't even put up a fight because they're generally unaggressive and have very poor eyesight. In 2019, only two females of the subspecies were left, and the last remaining male died. Otterhounds If you're in the UK and not being attacked by otters, you can thank the otterhound. These large dogs were bred back in the 1300s in England to hunt river otters. They were so good at it that they became extinct in many areas. These dogs are excellent swimmers with webbed feet, powerful legs and tails. However, they make for difficult pets because they are still bred for their singular purpose. They're noisy and require lots of exercise. Otter hunting was banned in the 1960s and many otter hounds were put down. Today, there are fewer than 800 otter hounds left in the world. Let's hope they don't disappear entirely. Indus River Dolphin Move over, Flipper! Meet the Indus River Dolphin. The rare and fascinating mammal is found only in the lower parts of the Indus River in Pakistan and River Bees in India. This dolphin species has up to 39 teeth in its upper jaw, which it uses to snap up its prey with impressive precision using echolocation. The species has faced challenges due to dam construction and pollution, and now only around 1,800 Indus River dolphins remain. But despite their struggles, these dolphins continue to use their melons to survive and thrive in their river homes. Mangalit's Pig Move over, sheep! There's a new fluffy farm animal in town. Meet the Mangalit's Pig! Native to Hungary, these chubby pigs have a thick curly fleece that makes them look like they're wearing a curly wig. They were created by interbreeding regular farm pigs with wild boars, resulting in a large, fatty pig that didn't need much care. They're so resilient that they can survive in the cold outside all year round. Sadly, they nearly went extinct during the mid-20th century when industrial farming was all the rage. But thanks to geneticist Peter Toth, who saved some of them, we can still enjoy their meat, lard, and adorably fuzzy fur. Amor Leopard People usually think of leopards as natives of the savannas of Africa, but in some regions of Russia and China, a rare subspecies has adapted to life in the temperate forests. However, they are barely holding on. In a decade, they managed to grow their population in the wild from two dozen to 100. But that number was promptly brought down to 84 in 2019, plus about 170 still are in captivity. Several hazards are threatening their future, poaching, deforestation, inbreeding, and industrial encroachment. However, efforts to save them have made some progress. Black Rhino not only the white rhino endangered, its close relative, the black rhino, is also in danger of disappearing. In fact, the black rhino's population declined by a whopping 96% in just 60 years thanks to poaching. Sadly, the western black rhino was declared extinct in 2011, leaving only the southwestern black rhinoceros to hold on, thanks to conservation efforts in Africa. While their numbers are increasing, Poaching and trafficking still persist, keeping them critically endangered. The Addicts 
The Attix, also known as the white antelope, used to be common in sub-Saharan Africa, but now only a single population remains in the Niger Desert. Oil exploration by the China National Petroleum Corporation in their habitat has caused significant disturbance, and the species is critically endangered. Niger established the Tora and Tintoma National Nature Reserves to protect them, but poaching is still a major threat. There are only three left in the wild, but zoos have over 2,000 addicts, which may be reintroduced to their native habitat. Let's hope we can save this beautiful animal from extinction! Saola! Do you know what a Saola is? It's also called the Asian Unicorn and was only discovered about 20 years ago. Unfortunately, it's already critically endangered. What makes them unique is that they're closely related to livestock animals, but they don't deal with confinement very well. They mostly avoid humans, but were creeping on their turf through the Anamite range of mountains. They're also solitary creatures, which means if an individual gets cut off from its range, it may not have the chance to breed with other Saolas. Do you know any other animal that is endangered? Let me know in the comments and I will feature it in a future video. Like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one.